Okay, now <clears throat> come to the uh, copper XPS. And this is the database. Um, they will tell you all this uh, <clears throat> um, advice from this uh, um, XPS Simplified. It's called, it's a thermal scientific uh, um, database site. And they recommend collecting the uh, copper LNM or JPEG also. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. <clears throat> and uh, so this will tell you also the energy split and the intensity ratio is uh, 0 0.508. Uh, instead of 5 or 8, I'm not sure they, this site has a bunch of uh, typo mistakes. So usually it's a 0.518, but uh, I'm wondering if it's intentionally 0.508. But I think we had to relax this to fit the uh, uh, even the pure copper 2P um, spectrum. <clears throat> okay, so to distinguish this, you have to use a satellite between the uh, um, you know Cu the CuO and uh, um, no Cu2O and the CuO, and so we're going to look at the uh, what the um, real signal look like. Okay. We already kind of looked at it a little bit, but um, so CUO has uh, this large satellite, and then peak is a little bit uh, higher and uh, wider, first peak, primary peak. So it's very easy to tell, um, you know, what kind uh, CUO from CU2O, but however. This uh, uh, satellite for the CU2O is uh, um, very small. So you can tell the, um, it's harder to tell CU2O versus CU metal, right? So that's when the, uh, this uh, OJ <coughs> peak come into play. And uh, um, so you know, if you have OJ peak, um, CU metal as a uh, um, peak right here and then a uh, little bit lower for the CUO and the CU2O is far away at uh, I don't know far away but about 2 EB difference so that's pretty big and uh, um, another thing is that uh, um, you can see this with our data much better <clears throat> but um, for metal if the data um, spectrum becomes more um, kind of sharp, uh, whereas uh, oxide ones are dull. Okay, so let's go look at it. <clears throat> the real data we got, uh, this is, it should be NP, right? You know, <laughs> sorry for the typo. Anyway, um, so this is the uh, um, survey scan we had. And uh, survey scan doesn't really uh, distinguish the uh, different type of oxide. So, <clears throat> but we have copper 34.6%, oxygen 45%, and uh, carbon about 21%. I mean 20.1%. All right, that sounds pretty good. So <clears throat> this is the uh, narrow scans. Um, okay, this is a copper. I mean the silks. Yeah, we already did the game, the carbon 1s, and we use this to shift the uh, uh, entire spectrum. And uh, so I couldn't fit this with a purely one single um, set of a spectra, or doublets, I guess. Um, but this has a large satellite, and uh, we, I needed the um, extra peak right here to uh, fit the um, this first peak, Cu2P three half, okay? So this is the, uh, you know, which is it? Is it Cu2O or Cu metal, right? And then this is all like this. It's pretty smooth. Um, so here's a value again. Uh, I just copied it from there. It's only half volt difference and then this is we may have a carbonate dihydride, uh, whatever, dihydroxide. Sorry, I'm not a chemist. 
that's an excuse, right? <clears throat> so again, from this, um, these are the uh, actual value we got. So just looking at the peak binding energy, the first one is a CC or CH, the second one is CO, and the third one is C double O. And first, um, copper oxide, or O1S, it matches very well the CuO oxide peak. I went to database and looked at it, and uh, it's about 529.7 plus minus uh, 0.6. Whereas the uh, second oxygen peak is either Cu2O at 530.5, you know, it's a little bit um, off, or it could be um, organics. Organics has a large range, but uh, uh, hydrocarbon um, CO O1S is about 150, uh, 130. I mean, sorry, 530 EV. So it could be because it has a fairly large amount of, uh, um, you know, 4.3. So it might not be able to account for all of it, but. Um, Maybe this is a combination of it, and I have to uh, fit it with the two different peaks. All right. <clears throat> and then uh, uh, this small one is actually matches fairly well with the uh, water. And, uh, um, and then you go to um, Cu2P, and this is about 5933, which is either Cu metal or Cu1 oxide. And uh, Cu two p uh, three half second peak is um, more close to this value than uh, this one. So there is a little bit of a, a question we have to answer yet. But anyway, so let's go on to the OJ. <clears throat> and if we fit the OJ from a copper nanoparticle, and give you a peak at nine seventeen point seven. And uh, um, so you compare that uh, with the database at exact match. It didn't go to um, you know this or that. And uh, um, if we had it nine one six, we don't have any component at nine one six. I don't think. So. And then this is the um, our database. Um, of, from a, not database, but the data from a um, copper standard we have, OJ, and uh, it's basically matches, you know, like that. It's about the same as this. And <clears throat> um, I think I might have said this during the other video demo fitting this, and you see these peaks are more prominent than uh, these guys. So uh, we have a pretty good um, OJ spectra. All right, <clears throat> so this is my conclusion. XRD results tell you that, uh, uh, again, I don't know why. Oops, go back. Um, okay, sorry, I'll go like this. Um, yeah, it should be uh, P in here, right? And then I'll go save the other one too. But. So um, it has a, a FCC structure and uh, with XP, uh, XRD, the Cu2O is the uh, more dominant uh, um, impurity, and CuO is the uh, third component. And SEM will tell you the size is about uh, 50 to 100 nanometer, and it's not smooth. And uh, uh, we found the uh, CuO lattice uh, seems to be. Um, and then XPS tell you that CuO is dominant species at the surface, the ratio of 2 to 1, I guess, and Cu2 um, exists in less uh, amount near the surface. So it's kind of contradict with XRD, but the XRD look at the much deeper, uh, more bulk structure. So, And uh, um, so the question is the uh, location and the distribution of Cu2 or uh, we should determine. Okay, so this is the kind of things we do, you know, with the material analysis. Um, you use different techniques to uh, support uh, each other's data and uh, uh, try to come to a conclusion. 
All right, I'm going to quit this today.